Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to create an overlay of GPU or CPU statistics for game. The tool we want to use is obviously MSI Afterburner. You can download that from the official website. After the downloading, you will need to extract that. So you will get uh, the file similar to what I'm showing you here. Set up 465. Double click that. English, OK. Next. And uh, accept uh, the license. Next. One thing I want to mention is that uh, the installation file already includes the River Tuner statistics server. This is also important to make sure you have that uh, checked. So, so this this way it will include uh, both after Bono and uh, the server. You click next and the next and the install. So at the same time, there will be another Windows is showing the installation for the server. You click also click. OK, so because I already have that installed, so I will not continue. <coughs> so so this way, you can see the Afterburner installation successful, and you can run that. As you can see, the default uh, look it's a little different from the one shown in the MSI website. Luckily, it is very easy to customize the looks. Also, as you can see, the window size is quite small. It's uh, difficult uh, to see basically anything. So how to increase the size? It's very easy. Let me show you. You go to the center of the interface. You can find the, the setting here. Press click. And uh, you can see there's many tabs. What we will need to do is to press the right arrow. Go to the far right. You can see there's the user interface. And uh, we do see that uh, you can basically choose the interface design. So we, we do see that right now we are in the white and there are many others. So feel free to choose the one you want, you like. And uh, in terms of, of the window size, as you can see in the bottom, there's a skin scaling 100%. So let's increase to probably 200%. So I think it's much better. Although it uh, can be a little blue, but uh, at least uh, we can get a good, uh, better ratio, right? So let's uh, try to like 150 or 160. Okay, and uh, let's press apply. Okay, so that's uh, how you can customize the look. Next, let's sh switch gear to see how to create the GPS, GPU, CPU statistics overlay. Also, we need to go to the setting. And uh, let's go to the monitoring. So in here, there are multiple graph and the properties. So in terms of the graph, you can choose what uh, type of the statistics you want to see. For example, the temperature, and you make sure that uh, the show in on screen display is checked here. And you can even choose the text or text graph. So the graph will show you the continuous graph. All right. so. I will choose several of them, choose the GPU usage. Similarly, make sure that uh, 
the checkbox shown in on screen display is checked. And uh, move down with, uh, I already selected the CPU temperature. Also here, checked box checked. Move down to the RAM usage, to the frame rate. Here, for the frame rate and also the frame rate 1%, frame rate 0, 1%, they are all choose the the on screen display and the, for the text and the graph here. And also you can also customize the color, I think. All right, so yeah, customize the color is right here. All right, so after you select all everything you want, you can click apply and okay. Meantime, let's go to the RTSS server. You should own your task bar or you own your the like icon bar. For example, here you can see if I close it, I can see right here. So here is where you can find it. The River Tuna Statistics Server. Press that. Yeah, I think uh, for, the re for some reason, the default size is quite uh, small. The one thing I want uh, is very particularly useful is the display zoom. So it uh, determines how it looks for the overlay. So also if you hover over it, there's some explanation here. One thing I want to mention is that uh, a little tip for how to show the frame rate 1% and the 0.1% low. You will need to go to the RTSS server, you go to the setup. So here you will need to go to the percentile buffer here to make sure that it uh, is uh, in ring ring here. And uh, scroll down to the compatibility. You make sure that uh, the enable benchmark mode here needed to be checked, this one. All right, so after that, you press OK. And uh, here is also OK for the after burner. So that way is how to enable the on screen display when you are actually play the game. So next I will show you some demo which I did after all this setup. <laughs> 